and welcome back for our final segment of Art at Home. We are here in the beautiful Senior Lounge at the Fullerton Community Center, where Sophia and I have been presenting Art at Home since the summer of 2020, if you can believe that. This is our final installment today. Thank you so much for following us these years. And for our final Art at Home video, Sophia is going to show us how to paint a Cantarito cup. Fun! Thank you so much, Amy, and thank you guys all for joining us on these years of Art at Home as well. Um, we are in the month of May, and it just so happens that actually today, the day that we're filming, is Cinco de Mayo. Yay! Yeah, so perfect day for our last Art at Home, and we're going to go ahead and go into these traditional Cantarito cups that is based in Mexico, that it's actually made from clay. So um, you'll see in one of our blank canvases that it's actually red and um, they used just, you know, clay that they created from dirt and things like that um, to hand make them. They didn't use anything but just hand make it. So each one had its little special design and things like that. So we're just going to go ahead and go into it and go into um, painting our Cantarito cups for Cinco de Mayo. Yay! Yeah. All right, in your Art at Home kit, we are going to be getting, of course, our clay cantarito cup here. I like the feeling of that. Yeah, that I reference. like how it's irregular, too. Each one is different and unique. Yes. We'll also be having some um, acrylic blue paint, white, yellow, and two brushes. What you'll need is a cup of water and maybe a separate blank uh, artistry palette, what you have around to mix some colors on. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First step is just gonna be go ahead and covering the entire Cantarito cup in white. So we'll just go ahead and dip into the white. Um, heat the warning, you want to be painting with the green on the Cantarito cup. It's gonna be a lot easier and smoother for your paint to go with the green. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Oh yeah. Make, make sure we nice get the clean. the little rim on top. You don't want to go obviously too in, but just. It actually makes a nice little ringing tone mm. as you paint it. There we are. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. What do we do next? We sit and wait till it dries. It doesn't take too long at all it should only take a couple of minutes if you give it some all right well our little cups slash if you want to call them pots are drying we're going to go ahead and mix up some colors um we are going to make this very 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 light blue um we did give us some amount of, of white and a little bit of blue so what we'll do is we'll just pour half of our white that we provided onto your artistry palette or plate and just put that on there here. And with the flat head brush, what you're going to do is you're going to grab two dollops of the navy blue paint that we provided. So if you could see, we're just gonna go ahead and give an example here. We're only gonna be painting the middle base of our cup here. You can measure with your fingers if you'd like to. I measured my like four fingers here on how the width, if you want it to go a little bit smaller, thinner, you can use three fingers, definitely up to you. But for my example here, I used my four fingered width and I kind of actually used it almost an idea of when I pick up my cup as well, where my hand is placed. Nice. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and grab our dry cantarito cup here. We'll measure. And I actually like to start when measuring the width from the inside. So the idea is using these two fingers here and then working my way out to the outward. So I'll go ahead and just go in with my
if you're losing sight of the width and you're going to, you don't know if you're going to, far, you can always, <laughs> you can always hover yeah. over and just carefully kind of, I see that I actually kind of like the three finger width for this color, for this one that I'm doing. I think I'm going to go with my three finger width for this. I changed my mind. When you put when you, the next step would be to do the actual rim of the of the cup and I only would suggest oh. this now is because if needed necessary you can always uh, go back and do it again but it's just easier to get the idea of how far down did you go it goes oh, right just right to the lip right yeah, yeah right to the lip of the of the cup and just take a moment and let this dry as well. Okay, so what's next? All right, so we, with our half white that we have left over, because we should have half of our white saved from prior, we're going to use our pointed brush that we have provided for you. And um, we are going to be doing, I'm gonna show an example here, our little, what would you call these, swirls within our border of the blue that we have on our cantarito. If you'd like to, um, if you're a little scary at first attempt um, to go just straight in it, you can always do some practice swirls, maybe on an extra piece of paper if you wanted to, or on your artistry palette. Um, and they're gonna be, the swirls are gonna go, be going inward, so you wanna be practicing your brush and going oh, yeah. inwards on those swirls. The good thing about the pointed brush though, however, it is pointed, so usually it does start off with a thin... Fun. Yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and go in. I'm kind of happy with that swirl that I saw there, so I'm gonna go in while I have that in the flick of my wrist. And we'll start at the bottom base of our blue width that we had created. Um, I would probably suggest maybe around three all around, so we do wanna keep in mind of how long our swirls will be. But we'll just go ahead and go start off the bottom here. And you're gonna bring the top about maybe three quarters of the way before you go around and swirl inwards. All right, so off camera, we did mix some navy blue and some white, a little bit more darker than our base that we had put down. Um, depending on how light you went or dark, the next step is gonna require a little bit more darker shade of blue. So some of us might need to mix in a little bit more navy blue with our white just to create that contrast between the two. Um, so what we'll be doing here is um, our extensions of our as Amy said, sprouts, but I like mm -hmm. to call them teardrops, and it's because of this little technique that I'm gonna go ahead and show you here on the side. Um, when you dip into your brush here, I like to create a teardrop-shaped circle, almost like it's going downwards there, and then filling it in here, um, because then on the outside using your brush is you're going to go on the outside of the circle to then bring it downwards in that way. So it creates, um, 
I don't know, I guess it is a little sprout coming out. But you want the edge of the um, line that you'll be drawing on the outside of your circle so that way it comes in. I did a little bit thick there, but let me go ahead and make another demonstration here. So on the inner part of your spiral, maybe just right in the middle of that here is where your um, sprout will be coming out of. So uh, before I like to just do that little middle part with my brush so I can visually see, not yet touching the pot, but going on top so I can go ahead and see When it's all done um, and you've added your sprouts on each of your swirls we're gonna go ahead and add the last final detail and that'll be with our yellow that's provided for you you're just gonna go ahead and dip in and just create a circle at the end of your spiral it's gonna help with the contrast between all of the two blues and the white that we had used for the base of the cantarito and for our spiral Look how cute that stands out there. And we're just gonna go ahead and do it to our other two spirals that we have here. We're gonna let that dry and it looks all about done to me. Well, I love my little pot. I know, see. Yours is so cute. How oh. exciting, love this. Thank you so much for joining us these past three years for Art at Home. We're sorry to see this program go, but tell us about what we have going on at the community center here in person. We are hosting Crafternoons twice a month here at the Fullerton Community Center. So you can go ahead and give us a call at the phone number down below if you guys want some more information, but just come on in and we do some crafting just in person. So mm -hmm. come on in and join us. The creativity continues. See you here at FCC. Bye. Bye.